Good morning. Central candidate for Congress here on the roadside of Beneva again. I was uh, reminded earlier of another uh, of another concern pertaining to uh, strife in the South China Sea. Uh, my opinion, of course, being that everything, hopefully, everything gets resolved sem sensibly. You know, but every day we're purchasing uh, quality products made over in China, and uh, you know, I'm thankful for the uh, for the good uh, quality work that we receive and. Hopefully, the people there in China are uh, being, tr you know, living, uh, living well and uh, uh, safely and securely, and are mostly having favorable uh, attitudes about ourselves. You know, uh, you know, we're, we benefit a lot from the, uh, from the, uh, from the uh, products that uh, you know we receive from there. And uh, uh, my, another opinion, of course, is that a lot of the manufacturing should be returned to the United States to help better our own. Uh, 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 people uh, with uh, better, uh, more rewarding uh, employment, but for the time being, of course, uh, and for the indefinite future, that uh, uh, a lot of uh, progress has been made for the betterment of people in China, and uh, and and for us also, and that uh, the best condition to be maintained is is maintaining a peace rather than a confrontation. We know that uh, there is an argument proffered by the uh, government in China. Whether, uh, uh, whether the argument originates from them or not, uh, seeking to claim uh, sovereignty over the entire South China uh, Sea region. But uh, that really is, uh, I think, and most anybody agrees, is unreasonable. And I think one of the reasons is, is that there is pressure about the name of it, because the name of it is, includes China. And that name is probably uh, originated by the British uh, many years ago, probably back in the 1700s. So. I think some of the matter could be resolved. It doesn't make it doesn't seem to make sense, but by a, a sensible renaming of the particular uh, area of, of the ocean, and uh, but that doesn't really resolve the argument. So I think maybe mostly, really, I, I think a sensible resolving would be that that uh, islands, land areas near whatever whatever actual nation they're nearest to should be uh, uh, in control of and uh, the. Uh, the islands in the uh, South China Sea, whether the nation be the Philippines, or Indonesia, or Vietnam, China, or uh, Taiwan, uh, that uh, there should just be a reasonable agreement about it. And that uh, the Chinese, of course, uh, should be totally and completely respected about their territorial integrity all along their coastline and uh, the islands nearest to themselves. and. Uh, Guaranteed through uh, international law, uh, along with everyone else, to have free passage through all of the open uh, open waterway or uh, all of the open ocean areas. There's a potential for great uh, progress for peace, and uh, uh, one of the ways for that progress to be maintained is to have sensible international understanding about the rules that are acceptable to everyone, and uh, people don't see. Uh, Nations trying to claim the entire Baltic Sea and uh, as being just their own. And, uh, the people don't see the United States trying to claim a hegemony over all of the Gulf of Mexico. You know, the Cuba doesn't claim to uh, be in control of all of the Caribbean. And so I think the good people over in the uh, Republic of China should also agree uh, to maintain what they have in the islands that, that they have uh, sought control over that they should mostly have, but that the area of the wide open ocean should be uh, uh, internationally recognized for uh, transit. And uh, with that understanding, I think that being a regional power there, the Chinese uh, defense establishment, uh, uh, of course, should be respected and, uh, and that air, uh, nations, uh, maybe from other nations, should of course patrol occasionally but uh, without provocation, uh, that there isn't uh, so much necessity. And uh, of course, the, uh, the concern for the people of Taiwan continues. Uh, the understanding we have is that they prefer having their independence while also uh, having various good relationships with the People's Republic of China, that including educational exchange, employment exchange, people getting along with each other peacefully. So the confrontational uh, positions pertaining to military and sovereignty should hopefully be resolved peacefully.
the, the, the vast territory of the People's Republic of China is certainly for, sufficient for themselves. And uh, uh, people, they should be partly proud that a people so similar to themselves, of same origin, uh, prosper in a somewhat different, uh, uh, with a somewhat different culture of their own, but of, of the same origin. And if the people there prefer to have their independence, that their independence should be respected. And that pertaining to Taiwan, of course, uh, there shouldn't be any provocation from, uh, from Taiwan regarding the People's Republic either. So hopefully the future is going to be better secure and uh, with a more uh, uh, a better focus for a lasting peace and understanding peace. So with that in mind, hopefully, uh, like I was saying earlier, that the various strife pertaining to the South China Sea can be resolved peacefully and sensibly in a way that will be agreeable to everyone and last for an indefinite future. I hope everyone's having a good day.